I'm not with Francois Pugibet from the Domaine de la Colombette near Béziers in France. And uh, we've been working with a very exciting project about wine with less alcohol. The reason why they got involved in, uh, in, in this concept of working with less alcohol is that over the course of the last 30 years, Francois realized that every year the alcoholic degree of the wine he used to make on the estate was getting bigger and bigger, or more and more. And whereas 30 years ago, typically this wine were 12 or 12 and a half degrees, recently they were 14. And he realized when they were drinking the wine at lunch in the evening that you, they were drinking less and less of it. And he started thinking about it and saying, what can I do about that? I want it to be 12 and a half. So they worked on a system about 10 years ago to reduce all the production to 12 and a half automatically. That was the genesis of the project. Since they've done that, a lot of the consumers said, well, can you push that system further back? Can you do me a 10 degree, a 9 degree of, you know, going down the sink? So we, uh, we and them work together to see what can be done about it. So just to say the origin of the process is not because they wanted low alcohol for the sake of low alcohol. They wanted to have wine they could drink a bit more of. And that's important in the concept. They have a system of uh, reducing the alcohol level, which is unique, where they use pass reverse osmosis, which is a selective filter if you want, when you separate the alcohol, the water, and the other components. And they use as well a vacuum distillation, which, you know, the easiest way to, to, to take alcohol or to concentrate alcohol in a drink is by distillation. But if you do it under vacuum, you can do that. You can boil your liquid at a much lower temperature than 90 degrees. And therefore, you keep all the flavors of the wine which otherwise would evaporate. So that's basically the, uh, uh, the, the system they're using. We have here three things to show. We got a wine at nine degrees, just to show what can be done to have something fresh. We then have a wine at five and a half degrees. The aim there being there's a tax break in this country at five and a half degrees, so there's commercial reason. And there's a wine at zero degrees for the people who really don't want any alcohol in their wine. The challenge when you do wines like that is to replace the alcohol by, when, the, when, you when you take the alcohol off the wine, it's not just the alcohol you miss, you know, you got a certain sort of amplitude in the mouth that disappears, you know, the mouth food is, is, is thinner, and you need to replace it by something, so easy, easy response is just to put more sugar, but then you get the balance wrong. So what we worked on is to use a bit of sugar, but as well some uh, fruit essence of uh, extract that we went to get in grass in the uh, capital of the perfume industry in France. And uh, we've done some trials over the times with strawberry or raspberry, but we found what works best is violet. So, so far that's what we're using. So in terms of the white, what you try to do is at 9 degrees, you still need to smell like wine, taste like wine. We just put a bit of sugar to fill up the, the mouth in there. You got something that, frankly, nobody would realize it's low alcohol or it's different, you know. It's, it's pretty much a wine with less alcohol and it's very refreshing. What happens when you reduce the alcohol in a wine, it's like in perfume. If you take a, a bottle of perfume and you, you open it, and you smell it, it's pretty strong. If you take the same perfume, you put it on your skin and you let the alcohol evaporate, you then start having more flavors and everything else. Well, it's exactly the same, you know, when you reduce the alcohol, you can release more flavors as well. So that's interesting in that, in that level. And those ones are interesting for that. At five and a half degrees, the challenge is different because then quite a lot of the alcohol is gone and you really need to replace it by something. And it's what I was mentioning previously, sugar is one of the routes to do so. And we need to replace it maybe by some other extract to do that. So every wine, no alcohol wine or no alcohol wine will have, it's not called wine, it's alcoholic based wine, alcoholic drink based on wine. And you can add things and it's why you see extracts and you see various uh, fruits or and sugar. So that's what we've done in this one as well. The aim again is trying to get the amplitude in mouth, which is as close as possible to wine. One of the points that Francois was telling me before is uh, alcohol in the wine is exactly the same as salt or sugar or fat in the food. It's something, you know, it needs to be in the right balance. Too much is in balance and not enough changes in the taste as well. So, I think the reason why it works so well 
with them is because it's a it's a family business. It's not a big industrial company who's doing it for the sake of doing it, and because there's a gap in the market. So people who who had a need to reduce the alcohol, who try to understand how it worked, and try to find solution to these problems. And that's the difference. And uh, I think they do a good, a good job. But you need to start from a good product originally to make a good low alcohol wine. The wine to start with needs to be good, and uh, they control all that.